Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. My beautiful brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I would like you to start changing your perception into something beautiful. Be beautiful and the world will be a beautiful place to you. Every morning when Allah gives me back my soul and I wake up and happily look at the day forward and what it carries of the good news, There is a thought that inhabits my soul. That thought is this. What a beautiful day this day is. Bursting with possibilities. I repeat. What a beautiful day this day it is. Bursting with possibilities. And why do I have this thought here? What it is? Am I a negative person? No, I am not. But what I am doing here is affirming a possibility that today can and might and probably will change my life. Days are not the same, even though to you they look the same. Notice, Monday's name is Monday and Tuesday is Tuesday. Each one of them has got a name. Just like we humans are not the same, and so our days, neither are ours. That is, eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, we don't have eight o'clock, eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Because each hour is independent from the other. It's us humans who make them all look the same. Every morning when Allah gives me back my soul, there is a hadith that comes to my mind. And that hadith is what Rasulullah said. Man asbaha minkum aminan fi sirbi. Whoever amongst you awakens in the sabah in the morning, When everything for him is fine, i.e. his family is good, his house not burning, his car perfectly fine, or his horse absolutely okay. Mu'afan fi jasadih. In his own body, everything is working fine, internally and externally. So you, my brother and my sister, when you wake up in the morning and your husband is here, your kids are around you, you have a roof over your head, and you are absolutely fantastic, and then you look at yourself, you see your body is the same, alhamdulillah, nothing is wrong with you, you don't have a disease and you don't have any sickness, and عِنْدَهُ قُوتُ يَوْمِ And he possesses the sustenance of his day, the food of that day. So if a person wakes up this, this way, Ya Rasulullah, a messenger of Allah, what is it the equivalent to? And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and this is like the miracle. فَكَأَنَّمَا حِيزَتْ لَهُ الدُّنْيَا It is as if the entire world has been gathered right in front of him. And this hadith is good, Hassan, reported by At-Tirmidhi and good and by Al-Albani. You know what this means, my brothers and my sisters? There are tons of people out there that are slaving every second of the day to get as much money as possible. Why? To secure a house for themselves, to find themselves a wife or a husband and have a happy family where everything works fine. And guess what? And then they would want to wake up every morning safe and healthy, no problems with their health, and they have the food for the day. You know what? Every rich man in the entire world is pivoting around these three elements. Having the family, and all that is like the house and everything, cool, and not sick in their body, and having the food of the day. Anything extra that you do, you get, is guess what? An extra. You don't really need it. So if you have this every morning, it's the entire world in your possession. That's why every day when you wake up and you have these three elements, look around and tell yourself, this day is a beautiful day, bursting with the possibilities, endless forms of possibilities. The question is, what are you going to do with these possibilities? What are you going to do with these possibilities? In another time, you will see that you are in safety in this religion. Islam is not a new religion. Islam is the upgrade, it's the update to Judaism, to Christianity, and that is Islam. Look at the beauty of this Islam, what it says. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, لا يزال المؤمن معتقا ما لم يصب دما حراما. 
إن أنظر حديث لا يزال المسلم في فسحة من دينه ما لم يصب نفسا حراما البخاري أن أبو داود. so this حديث is authentic. رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم says a believing Muslim a Muslim is in the wideness and the beauty of this religion as long as they don't kill somebody. They don't kill somebody. I.e. as long as you have not committed a murder. And obviously you perform your salat and you don't commit major sins. But you are, you are like me and you, you know, we go throughout the day. We do little mistakes here and there. We repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's that. Well, as long as we are that, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mu'taqan. Mu'taqan, that means that day you are away from hellfire. How? By not committing a murder. And who are the people that we can commit a murder against? A Muslim blood is not permissible to kill under any circumstance and so are the next ones any non-muslim living in our lands we're not entitled to touch them any other non-muslim who lives in his country but is in peace with us we cannot kill them we cannot touch them and any other muslim whose country is in a state of war with us, but he makes a treaty with us that he is not fighting us, even though his own people are fighting us, but we must not kill them. Look at the beauty of Islam. Look at the beauty of Islam. So as long as we wake up in the morning with this thought that the world is put right in front of me, as long as I don't commit murder, I'm actually in a positive attitude. But you know what? A shaitan, Satan, the devil, would want us to have the negative thoughts. Live in a self-limiting belief world. You know what? Look at you. Imagine you're wearing a beautiful garment. For the ladies, maybe a very nice, beautiful white dress. And for the gents, a beautiful white uh, shirt. Then you have a black pen and you happen to have a small dot. On that beautiful dress. And the man also has a small dot on the beautiful shirt. Everyone that's going to look at you, his eye will go to the black spot. That's human, the way we are. And this is also you. You look in the mirror, guess what? You don't appreciate the beauty of your eyes. You don't appreciate the beauty of your brows. You don't, you don't appreciate the beauty of your mind. You don't appreciate the beauty of you being safe and sound. You don't appreciate the beauty of you having a food daily. You don't appreciate the beauty of not being totally cancerous or having HIV or some kind of disease. And your limiting belief looks at one spot into you and suddenly that spot becomes the negativity in your day. Oh, I don't feel beautiful. Why? Because uh, this, uh, this, my nose is a little bit too big. My lips, I wish they were a little bit bigger. And the gentleman would say, I wish I was an inch taller or I was a little bit like this, a little bit like that. That's Satan. That's a shaitan who wants us always to do what? Be negative. So from now on, every morning when Allah gives you back your soul, after you say, Ya Allah, Alhamdulillah, I appreciate you giving me back my soul. What you want to do the next thing? Say to yourself, what a beautiful day this is, bursting with possibilities. And then go out there and work your tail off to make these possibilities a reality. Don't sit at home, do nothing, and then cry why the world is not giving you. When Allah created our father Adam, he said to the angels, Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. I am going to create on earth. Adam alayhi salam's destiny was earth. How he would go to earth? We know the story of Satan and all these things. But our place is on earth. Many people, when they talk about Islam and life, they want us all to just sit home and cry about the life that is going to go and that you're going to die and that's it. But it's not that way. Life, from all the beauties that it contains, is a tool in your hand. I will give you an example, my brothers and my sisters, and I pray to Allah that it gets into your heart. Canvas, you have a black or white canvas, depending on what you want to paint on it. Life is the 
palette of colors, the multitude of brushes, the infinity of colors that you have there at your hand. That's life. That is life. And then you have your mind. You draw a picture in your brain. And you go, I want castles. I want rivers. I want unlimited pleasures. And then guess what? Your day is the canvas. Life has got all the colors. Entirely up to you how you want to paint and what you want to paint on that canvas. Don't sit there and don't touch the colors. Don't touch the brushes, the brushes and then say, oh, nobody is painting on my behalf. Well, no. Every, each one of us has got a set of colors, a set of brushes. We have a blank canvas. That blank canvas is called your day. Make of it what you want. So that's why every morning when I open my eyes, the first thing that I think of myself is this. Alhamdulillah, I haven't committed a murder and I don't intend to. That's one. So that means no blood, I am safe. I'm already starting with a credit, a big push. Second one, my day is starting with, I got my roof, my kids are fine, alhamdulillah, no calamity from that angle. I look at my body, I don't have any diseases. And if I have them, well, at least I can observe patients. But most of the time, what you get compared to the other people is less. Then you'll be happy with that. And then when you have the food, you are also happy with that. And sadly, the entire world comes to your possession. And sadly, the entire world comes to your possession. It is what you want to do. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember. The day is your canvas. Allah will not deprive you of the brushes and He will not deprive you of the palettes. It's just what you want to put on that canvas. Again, I repeat. This day is beautiful day. Bursting with possibilities. Make your possibilities come to life. Go out there. Plan. And I will talk about the planning another time. But for today, I just want you to feel happy about the gift of life that Allah has given you. Until my tomorrow's back talk, my brothers and my sisters, be in the best of forms. And I pray to Allah to make your possibilities as big as from here to heavens. I love you all, and please think of the possibilities, and they'll be yours. This is your brother Abdul Salam Abu Hanifa, 0787640873, and you have a wonderful day. Subhanakallah, wa bihamdik, ashadu la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.